over 550,000 hectares of agricultural land, almost 100,000 dairy cows and more than 13,000 employees. These are the impressive key figures which describe one of the largest agricultural companies in the world. Welcome to part two of our short film series about Ecosen Agrar. Welcome to Russia. In the opening film, we watched the grain harvest at Ikoniva, an Ikosem Agra subsidiary, and visited various locations around the town of Liski in the Russian Chernozem region. The viewers of our international agricultural documentaries at landtechniquevideos.de will recognize this region. The fields are huge. The soil is fertile. The combine harvesters and balers are closely followed by the tillage equipment. Two John Deere 8320R with Vedastad top-down cultivators operate on this 2.3 kilometer long field. Econiva uses the top-down multi-purpose cultivators in working widths from 5 to 9 meters. Large working widths are preferred, but even in Russia the roads around some farms are very narrow which is why smaller equipment sometimes has to be used. We continue to a 100 hectare stubble field above the River Don. The agronomists aim to cultivate between 150 and 200 hectares within 24 hours using such a John Deere 9000 and a 9 meter cultivator. Two workers often share such an operation. The Econiva fleet is huge and comprises some 1,500 tractors. The large articulated tractors from John Deere's 9 series deliver 1,500 to 2,000 engine hours per year. The smaller 8 series tractors even achieve up to 4,000 hours per year. From the European part of Russia, we now make a detour to the Far East, to Ikoniva's easternmost location near Novozibirsk, a city with a population of one and a half million. It's over 3,000 kilometers from Liski to here. From a cinematic point of view, Siberia is unparalleled. We have already shot several of our agricultural documentaries here. Our visit takes place at the end of August, when the pea harvest is in full swing. Siberia has the lowest harvest expectations of all Econiva regions. Although Chernozem soils are found here quite often, the short vegetation period and the continental climate make crop farming a tough job in this region. Econiva meanwhile cultivates 105,000 hectares in Siberia. The company has been active here in the Far East since 2006 and has grown rapidly in terms of both farmland and the number of dairy cows. 13,000 cows are kept here in three dairy farms with modern runs. To give you an idea of milk production at Econiva, we already visited several of the company's 62 locations in our first short film over half a million tons of raw milk in 2018 and a planned output of 800,000 tons in 2019 make Econiva the largest producer of raw milk in both Europe and Russia. Since 2018, the Ecosem Group has been taking huge steps to expand the value chain to include its own milk processing and marketing operations. Several large dairies and processing facilities have already been established. For instance, in the Kaluga, Voronezh and Novozibirsk regions. Various dairy products, curd and desserts are produced using state-of-the-art production and filling technology. 
A large dairy with a daily processing capacity of over 1,000 tons of raw milk is currently being established in Siberia. It will also produce cheese from the company's own milk for the Russian market and for export. The company has its eyes set on Asia for further expansion in the future. Econiva branded dairy products will soon be available in retail stores in China, for example. German-born Stefan Dürr is still the big brain behind Ecosem Agra. He has built up the company from scratch and can usually be found at one of his many farms all over Russia. Stefan himself grew up on the 15-hectare parental farm in Baden-Württemberg. He is also founder, managing partner and CEO of Ecotechnica AG. This company is an agricultural machinery dealer. It employs 540 people at numerous locations throughout Russia. Ecotechnica is headquartered in Dechino, south of Moscow, and is one of the three largest John Deere dealers in Europe. Upon our arrival at this location, we are quite impressed by the sheer size of the site and the buildings. Due to the enormous distances, many repairs are carried out on site at the customers. But there is still a lot of work left for the workshop in Dechino. Incidentally, the group attaches great importance to training and further education. Spare parts worth about 3 million euros are stored here in Dechino, adding up to about 20 million parts for Ecotechnica as a whole. Beside the main brand, John Deere, for which Ecotechnica has the exclusive distribution rights in Russia, the company also sells agricultural machinery made by Vedostat, Grimmer, Fliegel and JCB. Econiva is certainly one of the company's best customers, operating dozens of these wheel loaders, for instance, and over 300 telescopic handlers alone. Our short film series about one of the world's largest agricultural companies ends south of Moscow. For the time being, as we definitely want to continue this series to bring you further impressions from rural Russia, if you would like to find out more about Ecosem Agra, go to the website or visit the company's booth at Agritechnica or Eurotier in Hanover. If you enjoyed this film, support us by liking this video and by subscribing to our channel here on YouTube.